G'day, Martin Larkham. Um, and right now we're just going to talk about uh, stirrup length, okay? Um, I guess there's no hard and fast rule for stirrup length. What I've found over the years is I've probably shortened stirrups. Um, you know, it's not that I was ever like long, long, but I think the tendency has been to get a little shorter. I think it just gives you um, a little more stability, stopping and turning and things like that. Um, so I guess what, what I would suggest is that, you know, for sure you have that bend in your legs, all right, and that you can have weight in your feet. Um, you know, there's a reason that you see like the cutters and cow horse guys have, as a general rule, have shorter stirrups. It's because they're doing a lot of stopping and turning and they need to have that stability in their feet. So as a general rule, um, if you're having a problem maintaining position in the saddle, I would suggest just go up a hole or two in, in your stirrups. Um, you know, it, a lot of the time, if your stirrups are too long, you'll kind of get that effect where your feet swing back behind you. Um, whereas if they're a little shorter, you can just kind of have them just kind of sitting in front of yourself a little bit there, and it's going to help you um, quite a bit stopping and turning. I guess, for example, it's not something I ever really think about, um, but if you can kind of see my stirrup length here, I guess if I stand up, that's, that's about where I'd be sitting down that's about where I'd be um, and I know just from you know jumping on horses that maybe I'm coaching or doing a clinic or whatever I can I can pretty much go and get on a horse and not change the stirrup length if it's shorter than mine um, now there's not too many people that have longer stirrups than me but um, but if I ride a horse that the stirrups are longer than what I would usually do that's when I struggle Whereas I can, I can ride like this and, and get by. So just as a rule of thumb, I think if you're having issues like maintaining your seat, I think short is better than longer. Mark Kellis had the privilege of being affiliated with the National Reining Horse Association for over 20 plus years. Uh, and fortunately or unfortunately, I've been representing Markel for uh, almost all those years as well. We um, are a very integral part of the horse industry. We intend to remain an integral part of the horse industry. When you look at organizations like the NRHA and NRCHA and other organizations that we have had the good fortune of representing, it's um, about what we can do for the people through the products that we have to offer, that being not only livestock mortality, but uh, commercial equine insurance, farm and ranch coverage, and also commercial liability and professional trainers liability. Uh, are they applicable to all? No, but that there are so very many people in the industry um, that can use what we have to offer, and I'm very fortunate to have a team of specialists that work with me for Markel, uh, our, our Western discipline team, and uh, they offer products for people, Western horse people in particular, throughout the country. Uh, we have some other opportunities that are becoming available now um, with the hopeful addition of uh, a new organization and some new entities along with some other products that Markel offers as a corporation, their winery coverage, their camp, camp and uh, path coverage that we've been involved with for years. And uh, I look forward to the next 20 years representing Markel.